Hello everyone, welcome to Open Instruction. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and customize themes for e-commerce website. Let's dive in. So to customize themes for e-commerce website, first we have to go to Sham Control Panel. So let's open it. After that, we have to start Apache and then we have to start MySQL. After that, we like to go to Browser and then we will search for local host forward slash WordPress what pre double s so if you can remember in our previous tutorials we have installed a wordpress site in localhost wordpress so this is the address okay so this site is pretty basic right now so we like to update these themes and we like to make an e-commerce site by updating the themes okay so why we have written localhost wordpress here because uh, let's go back to our c drive and see so C drive, then let's go to the sham and then let's go htdocs. So you can see in htdocs, we have installed this WordPress website. So WordPress. Now let's go back to our browser again. So we want to access the admin dashboard for this site. To access the admin dashboard for this site, we have to go to localhost, localhost forward slash wordpress forward slash wp dash admin and then press enter okay so now we are in the dashboard of this site so now to install a new theme we have to go to appearance and then click on themes now click on add new and search for a theme called astra okay so this is astra theme now click on install so it will take some time to install Astra theme because Astra is downloading from the internet in our local computer and after that it is going to install. Okay, so Astra is still installing. Okay, so Astra has been installed successfully. Now click on activate. Okay, so after activating the Astra themes, you can see we got a message here. Thank you for installing Astra. Did you know Astra comes with dozens of ready to use starter templates? Install the starter templates plugin to get started. So click on get started. Starter templates plugin is activating. Now after that you have to click on Elementor. So Elementor is basically going to help us to edit our site easily. So after that, go to this drop down here and search for e-commerce. So here you can see there are a lot of startup templates. Some of these are free and some of these are premium content. So we like to go with this second template, which is free organic store. So click on it. And if you look, so this is the template. So if we install this template for our site, our site will look like this. And it has home, then about page, it has also contact page. So click on import complete site. Skip this one. And the installation has been started. Now it is installing Elementor. Successfully activated Elementor plugin. Now WooCommerce plugin is installing. WooCommerce is needed to make the payment gateway. Activating WooCommerce. WooCommerce plugin successfully activated. Now my selected website template is importing. Everything has been imported successfully. Now we can click on view site to view the updated site. Now if we go to our previous site, you will see that site was pretty basic. Now let's click on view site to see our updated site. So this is our updated site. As you can see the website's looks has been completely changed. Now to see the sample products, let's click on all products. You can look at any products. You can add any products to cart. You can view carts. And even you can proceed to checkout. 
Now let's go to about our space to see how it looks. Let's click on connect and see how it looks. Now we like to change this code. Join the organic movement. Let's click on edit with Elementor. Let's change it to join to my e-commerce movement. And then click on update. Now let's go to our previous site and refresh it. As you can see the code has been updated successfully. You can look at any products. You can add any products to cart. You can view parts. And even you can proceed to check out. Now we like to delete all these products and add new products for our site. To delete all those products, we have to go to dashboard, then products, then we have to click on all products. Then we have to select all items and from bulk action drop down menu we have to select move to crash and we have to click on apply. As you can see all the sample products have been deleted. Now if we refresh our site in shop section we can see we don't have any products. Now to add new products. We have to go to products again and click on add new. Give your products name. Set the price. Add your product description, set your product image, And finally, click on Publish. Now, after refreshing the website, you can see that new product has been added. We like to change the currency from US dollar to Bangladesh Taka. To change the currency, we have to go to dashboard again. Then we have to click on e-commerce. And then we have to click on settings in e-commerce section. Change the currency from United States dollar to Bangladesh Taka. And then click on save changes. As you can see, United States dollar has been changed to Bangladesh Taka. 
Now to buy the product, click on Add to Cart. Then click on View Cart. You can add two or more elements in your cart if you want. And finally, click on Proceed to check out. As you can see, no payments methods are available right now. We will add payment method in one of our future tutorials. Until then, 